This is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, episode 475. Today, we're going to talk about cheating, and specifically, my friend, my roommate, my confidant, my acquaintance, and my (laughs) copine. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> is gonna explain to you why it's okay for men to motherfucking cheat. That's Take exactly it away, Awa. I said, and I'm not. A, you know what? She's twe- She's changing the whole story. That's not what I said. Well, tell him what you're gonna say. I was just saying that I wish people understood like um, people's behavior in a different level, like people rate like. Uh, people raping. Uh, Can you hold the phone so it's closer no, to your mouth? No, because I didn't want to do a podcast. Wait, wait, wait. We're not talking about rape. We're talking about cheating. Yeah, okay. But that's the same That's the same thing. Hope you guys can hear her. You... Uh, I don't want to get into it. You, don't understand. you are about to get into it. No, I'm not. I'm not. You are about to. I'm not getting into it. I'm not going back into it. Because the thing is, people understand things in just a surface level. But there's many things that is much deeper. And just like, oh, he cheated. We're oh, not he saying cheated. that it's oh, not deeper. No, no, no. We're not saying there's not... Yeah. Well, so, um, because you don't understand cheating in a, in, a, in, a, in a deep level. You just think like, you, if you cheat, you're just an asshole. And you just come back. But you don't understand... The deeper level. I understand. Maybe. I understand. There's childhood trauma involved and um, subconscious programming involved. I understand this. Yeah, but it's, I said there's deeper level to certain things. When the problem is that as soon as that someone said he has been cheated on, is the victim, like he didn't do anything. But it's, it, there's a deeper level to it when it comes to cheating. It's not just like. Oh, I cannot hold myself. It has to do with like meeting your needs. And it, it's, it's, I don't want to get into it because I, I want to make sure I explain it right. Okay, I get what you're saying. And guys, we will do another podcast on this. But here's what I want Our yeah. World Art to know. I want Our World Art to know that even if there's reasons for all these things, cheating, murder, rape, mm-hmm. pedophilia, that doesn't make it right. And that doesn't make it defendable. And that doesn't make it... Exactly. You see, you cannot defend if you don't... If exactly. No, because you don't understand. No, I if understand. You, don't defend, you cannot defend if you don't understand because to you it's black or white. That means if you rape, you're a bad person. It's black. No, 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 no. I'm separating the act from the person. And this person... Okay, so we're talking about a dating coach that was married and cheated on his wife over 100 times. With a hundred different women. And Awa is currently saying, you know, we shouldn't say he's a piece of shit because we don't know the deeper reasons why he cheated. That's what you're saying? No. I said, first of all, he said something that was really good and I resonated with. Yeah, okay. I don't care about the rest. People... I do because he's a fucking no, fake-ass hypocrite. Is, no, because this is why people are canceling people. Because when... Do you agree with everything I said in, in my life? No. You don't agree with everything I and my thoughts the way no. I think. No. Exactly. So it's like, why are we not focusing on this information? Why well, we have to find something bad about this person? It's like the people that come for you. you are okay, like, thank you. Yes, yes. No, this is no, good. No, because you are being sarcastic and you're like, well, you know what? It's okay if you want to eat chickens, period. And people, they're like, Jeanette. I am subscribing. You're not vegan. Because right. you're not vegan. Enough. I'm not vegan. Guys, I'm not vegan enough. Okay. Why are we not focusing on that, the, the stuff that happened in that moment, not the whole thing? Oh, yeah, well, guess what? I did bad things like 10 years ago. Like, it's just because it's on, so, on social media. The message he posted today, I resonated with, and I'm just like, oh, my God, that's amazing. Thank you for talking about women that day. After, if you fuck up or he did something else, it's not because he did whatever he did in his life that we have to discredit everything that happened. That is true. We're okay, okay. This moment. You know? That's fact. Yeah, I agree with that, but I see I see both sides no, no, because no, no, because it's just too easy. It's just too easy. I see both sides because Awa, he got women buying his books, paying for his tours, paying for one-on-one coaching, okay. and it turns out he's lying the whole time. That doesn't mean he's lying. 
lying the whole time. That's like people signing up for my course, which, by the way, we actually pushed it back. It's available now, October 8th. And if you would like to join the course, you can send me an email with the words, I am ready to JD at MisfitVegan.com. But wait, let me finish. Ow. Listen, let me finish. Wait, if I, can't, if I was secretly eating McDonald's, with yo ass, because you know what, guys, if I, have I a video. <laughs> kid scumbag, no, she does not. I have a video. Okay, the truth is, I was throwing out a. Coward art. I hate you so much. I was. There was a cup of McDonald. I fucking hate you. Now I have to explain it to them. There was a cup. A oh, fuck. There was a cup of McDonald's sitting on the side of the street. I picked it up to go throw it away, and she started filming me. This fucking piece of shit. Now, okay, that's anyway, what she said. that's what she said. But wait, wait, if I were to say to Awa in secret, let's go across the street and get fries from McDonald's. Do you know that this fucking copine would actually go with me to get those fries in a second? Yes, you would. I don't like McDonald's franchise. I like Burger, Burger okay. <laughs> Fine, we got to walk three blocks to Burger King. I could convince you no, in a second. No, I like my Italian place. Oh, that's God. You know what I'm trying to say. You and know, then, no, wait, let me finish no, the sentence. No, no. No, so no. if I go to you, with you to get french fries right now and then try to fucking say that I'm a raw vegan for 13 years and you paid for my course and you bought my books and you, you're not going to be mad at me if I'm secretly eating crappy ass at food and oh, animal products too maybe. You're not going to be mad at me. You invested in me. You learned from me. You bought my books. I don't care because guess what? Nobody's perfect. You don't care. I don't care. That your me. mentor says they're 13 years raw, but they actually fake. I don't care because people are just looking at that fake-ass perfection on social media. This is why this cancel culture. What's important is the message you do with people. If there's someone, someone tomorrow is healing from his cancer because he's, he's listening to his advice, that's great. Wait, I'm trying to think, is there why anybody we, you love that we, stands for something? It's like what happened with Russell Brown, like uh, brand, like this whole thing. Oh, you know what? Well, you know what he did back then. Is this? Is no? That. They're lying. He didn't do that. They're lying. But this guy? But maybe he did. But he's, he's not lying. Like they're not lying about him. He cheated on his wife with over a hundred women. No, and I don't care because it's out of context. Like if I see a piece of. It's not out of context. He's a relationship coach. It's out that's of like context. me getting French fries. No, it's out of context because guess what? If I see a beautiful piece of art. And then the guy, uh, uh, he draw like a beautiful woman and then he sparks something in me that's going to push me to get up and do art because I feel inspired. That's great. Whatever you do, that's his life. We're not going to judge people for everything they do. Like everybody's perfect. Oh, so you're saying Michael Jackson raping little boys is fine because he's an artist and a dancer. Well, guess what? He inspired me to dance. Oh, so that's fine. That's not, that's out of the context. That's not what we're talking about. So you still a fan? No, that doesn't mean I'm still a fan. But I'm just curious. But this is not what we're talking about. I'm just curious. No, the whole thing that, that started is because I said, I don't care what he did. Yeah. Maybe now he's a piece of shit. Maybe now he he scammed people. He so, I don't care because at that moment, whatever he said, I resonated with and that's what matters. Yeah, get, just so you guys know the backstory. We discovered this guy, and I don't even remember his name anymore, but we discovered this guy uh, on on Instagram. Awa just found a reel randomly, and he said some deep-ass shit, and we were both, like, blown away. And the thing is, is that then I posted it on my story. His name is Derek Jackson, J-A-X-N. And apparently, I never heard of this guy. I'm about to dive deep into his content because it was fire what he said. But then somebody on my story just now, who I respect, came for me and she was like um with all due respect fuck this guy he cheated on his wife he's a narcissist he's this he's that and i was like oh well, what do you think about this and she was like y- y- like i still am, I, i'm still posting that on my story and i'm still gonna support him because he inspired he said some real stuff and he's i don't know like i don't know how we got into it's this conversation not, i support him i'm not buying his book i just put on my story Whatever he said, I resonated with. No, no, you said you don't understand cheating. And no, no, that's how no, this no, started. I said I don't care. I don't care about what he did after. What care is the present? You don't. Moment? Un- you don't care that he's a hypocrite. This is not about that. I just care about the present moment. But w- for once, whatever he said, I was like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, someone understand. Like I wish someone people understand the uh, the way he explained that about women. It's like this is so fucking true. Whatever he do. After, that's his problem. I, we don't know the whole story. I resonate because... But the thing is, when it comes to cheating, that's not the first time because I always want people to know. 
why does people cheat like sometimes they have it all they have the wife they have the house they're gonna go and they cheat and i said i wish people understand the really underlying reasons about cheating it's not just like you're just a weak person and you just want to have sex with someone because you don't know how to but the reasons sex. don't matter no no i just said i wish people understand oh uh, yeah I, I wish people understand like uh the, 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 well you're the like seriousness. a therapist and i'm like a fuck you i don't give a shit what the reasons were that you killed this person that you raped this little boy that exactly. you cheated on your wife i don't moving, care this is why we're not moving on this is why people are putting throwing people in jail and then they think it's gonna fix the problem and then they go back out of jail and this same thing happens over and over again you know it's like uh if someone uh, has the, the the a problem of like raping someone it's not if you put him in uh, him in jail that is gonna solve the issue we have to go deeper and understand where that shit is coming from so we can fix it and sometimes i just get triggered when i hear about cheating because for a long time i was like Oh, like, I, I did not understand. Like, I was angry at my dad. I was angry. There's many things of people in my family because I was like, I don't understand. How can you? But I, I, when I said that to you, I just said, I wish people understand, like, the underneath deeper layers of, like, why people go to do that and ruin their lives. But I didn't know how to explain because I'm not a therapist. In conclusion, to book a session with Our World Art to go <laughs> deep into the reasons why you cheat... Go to ourworldart.com. No, dead ass. Dead ass. And I just want to end this episode by saying, no, I'm serious, Awa. I wanted to end this episode. But it was just different subject. You, know, you understand what I'm trying to say, right? Because now people, they take, it's so easy to, 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 to change the information. Yes, maybe he's a bad person according to society. But guess what? If he has helped women to find their men, great. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's fucking perfect. If someone help uh work out or like lose weight and then five years later he gained like a hundred pounds okay well you know what nobody's fucking perfect but in this moment whatever he said i was like oh my god this is great like that doesn't mean i know nobody's perfect but as humans we want to believe wait 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 hold on we want to believe that people are authentic and good. And when we find out that somebody we really look up to is not a good, authentic person, we get very disappointed. But we don't know the person. Well, we, well, we feels like we do. Like today, I was talking to a client, and she was like, I feel like I know you. I feel like, and it's like, I wanted to say. Yeah, but you're having a conversation, not stuff on social media. No, but she says, I feel like I know you from years of watching you on YouTube. And I wanted to say. Honestly, you don't know the half. You don't know me at all. But like, I know why people feel like they know me because I'm sharing. But the truth is, is that it's 24-7. It's a 24-7 experience. And I'm only sharing five, 15 minutes on YouTube. And you know, I'm fake. not showing. Sorry, go on. And it's fake. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not fake. No, no, no. It's, it's not. Who are you calling fake? I didn't call you. you fake. Who are you calling oh, fake? Oh, damn. I said this is fake in the sense that you sharing like. One part of yourself on social media. I'm not fake though. So am I. I never say you're fake. You're very authentic and they can see that and they can relate. But like, for example, someone's going to come and find the uh, vegan deterioration videos and then they're going to be like, well, this is how Jeanette, this is the kind of person that she is. One day she says that and then this, that, but actually that's not true. And this and that. And then just judging. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's out of the context. Right, right now we're just focusing on like, oh my God, that's amazing what he said. But I had a feeling, this is so funny, I was like, I had a feeling. I had the feeling someone's gonna come and be like, well, you know what? This guy is not doing right. Or he didn't do that. Or he scammed people. And I'm just like, oh my God. Like, can we just have like present moment without like having this cancel culture? Like, well, if you say something that I don't like, I don't wanna listen to you anymore. Like, there's nothing valuable that this person can say. That's a shame. You're right. Because I think of, I think of people like, Fishvana. So there was this woman. Her name was Ravana. Mm -hmm. She was raw vegan for years. And I actually was, I followed her. I watched her videos. Mm -hmm. You know, she didn't teach me anything, but like I liked her recipes. Mm -hmm. And then she got caught eating fish as a raw vegan. Mm -hmm. And she got canceled. Mm -hmm. And um, now I would, you know, I unsubscribed, I unfollowed, I blocked, you know what I mean? Like I would never watch a video of hers. But you know what's interesting? She still might have some good recipes and content, but I would never consume it now because I feel that she lied to me. I, I took it personal. Oh, that's it. Exactly. People are taking this guy's cheating personal. Exactly. That's it. We're taking it personal. It's because not. You know what I said all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's a teacher. 
And Everybody's a student. Teach, okay? Like, even if there's certain things I'm not going to agree with, like, you know, I'm going to teach you something, you're going to teach me something. So even if he's not a perfect person, he's going to teach you something. I'm, even a murderer is going to teach you something. I'm trying to teach you to go raw. No, I'll never go raw. But uh, besides that... <laughs> If we don't come up with the I'll never go raw shirts, we're <laughs> literally, we're going to regret it. I know. It's coming. Dude, imagine. New collection. Imagine a shirt that says um, go raw and on the back it says I'll never go raw. I'm just kidding. I'll never go raw. Yeah. <laughs> and it, then it says all world art at the bottom. Yeah, we can do that, but who wants to buy a never go raw shirt? Your know. biggest fans that are never going to go raw. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the vegan committee. Uh, by the way, she going to go raw yeah. when she, what? Let me finish. When she has to. Mm. Yeah, okay. Then I'll go raw. You see? You see? You never go raw. By the way, if you'd like to go raw. Who said I have to? Send me an email. JD at Miss. <laughs> she hates when I do that. No, but I feel like because you're so good, you just squeeze it in there. You know? By the way, if you don't want to wait until you have a disease, mm, mm, send me an email, girl. Because I got you. I got you. I actually pushed my... Uh, long story short is... I started today with my clients, but we pushed the course back by one week. So if you're interested, you can still do it. And the reason why I pushed my course back is because I've had so many emails from people. So I had to decide that I was not going to do another course this year. This is the last course of the year, and I'm going to make it more than 10 women, okay? Because I got so many people wanting to be in the course. So I just want to say thank you, women only. But by the way, there's been an insurge. Is that the word? Insurge? Now you don't speak English. Uh, a little bit. There's been an insurge of men trying to join the course. So why don't let them? Literally over 20 men why this week. Why don't let them? Because it's women only. I feel that women want a women only course so they can feel safe to talk about things and share their feelings and stuff, right? Can you just make one for men? I know. I should. Please. Oh my God. I should take all the men this week that are interested and yes, do a course with them. Course. Come on now. And you know this is the area of healing. I don't want to be in a room with 10 men. Yes, because it's uncomfortable. I feel uncomfortable. But guess what? Without... Com- She's trying to say a quote. Okay. <laughs> it's on the tip. <laughs> I know. It's like... So, wait, wait, wait. Where are your... You want me to say it? Yes, thank you. Okay. No, no, no. Can you tell me? Your comfort zone is where your dreams go to die. Your comfort zone. This is where your dream goes to die. Can we film that, qu- that quote? Did not do it? No. Well, guess what? It's coming. Your comfort zone is where your dreams go to die. That's right. But I don't have a dream of working with men. So why are no, you... No, 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 no. Don't change the context. Mm. We never said you had a dream of working with men. You have dreams. But to get to your dreams, you got to get uncomfortable, boo. And it's time. And that's not fair. Can I tell you a joke about dreams? You just triggered a joke I want to tell you. Okay, so I was watching this comic the other day. She happened to be a black woman, beautiful black woman with beautiful black hair. She got a black complexion. Okay, so listen, she said she's dating a white guy, Mm -hmm. and sometimes she likes to test her boyfriend, like, with black shit. Mm -hmm. So she said to her boyfriend, she goes, um, what are you doing on Martin Luther King Day? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw that? Yeah. And her boyfriend was like, uh, what are you doing? And she goes, I'm dreaming. Like Martin Luther King, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, it was really funny when she said it. Yeah. Wait, how you saw that? Uh, Instagram. So. We're just getting the same things. Of course. Yeah, we live in the same house. So. Is that why? Well, when they hear things, algorithm, this and that, uh, internet. And I didn't say the joke the way she said it. Okay, guys. It was not yeah, that that's. Funny mm-hmm. on, on yeah. Sound live. You're going to cancel me mm-hmm. for even saying that. Yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't have even said it. Uh, any value we can provide? Oh, now you're close. Wait, okay, wait, wait, you guys suck about something. <laughs> Don't get off to my face. No, because yeah, they, they didn't can, hear, they didn't hear the whole thing. They probably can hear. Except for when you said, <laughs> when you said, your dreams! <laughs> Go to die. Yeah. But, um. When you yelled, but otherwise they probably didn't please. hear Please. Can you please do a course for men? Because it's not fair. Oh, because guess God. what? Men are the provider of this planet, okay? And they need help as much as women. Excuse me? I've in, been providing myself in, without in, Yeah, yeah, I know. Feminist, blah, 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 this is not... No man's ever provided No, me. no, no. But the whole balance is out. Men are not men. Women are not women no more. Because, uh, I mean, this is another podcast. <laughs> this is another podcast. You trying to get canceled? Yeah, probably. Maybe it's not good that I talk. You trying to get canceled? Yeah. But um, freedom of speech, boo. First of all, 
No it's thing. very good to get uncomfortable. It's very good for you. You're going to learn so much about yourself Amen. because you have traumas and stuff. But it's not about you, boo. Is it about you? Men don't want to go raw. They want to just flirt. No. This is, you see, you cannot be 0-100. That's number one. Okay, if you're a man. Can you please? Okay, if you're a man listening to this right now and you're interested in going raw and not flirting with me for the six weeks of the course, send me an email. JD at Thank and you. And I'll send you, I'll send <laughs> them allworldart.com. I am really proud of you, even though it was not inviting, but because it has to do with our own traumas. There's no Th- men that listen to this. This is why you hey, have to. no man. Maybe someone going to send it to their best friend. into us <laughs> shitting about. Maybe comments. someone is going to send it to their best friend. Okay. No it doesn't matter. It's out it's there. Yeah. That's, what do you think? I just went to the blanket. 79? I don't, know, but, I don't know, but it's cold. Guys, we keep th- the house at 79 and we're freezing. I we're think, about to turn it to 80. I think it's because um, it's raining outside or something like that. Freezing. But, um, mm, 21 you minutes. Uh, please, please, please do not think black or white. We're not going nowhere as a species and as a society. We don't go nowhere if we just think black and white. We have to stop canceling people left and right just because there's something we didn't like the way they said. There's something your mom said you don't like. That doesn't mean you don't like your mom. Huh? Is that true? I did not like her. You know what? I like her. You know what? That's the truth. You know what? What? Oh, my God. You know what? You agree to everything Lisa said we in your life? We like each other. You agree to everything Lisa said in her life? Don't, don't talk about Lisa. No, no, but you agree with every single thing? Don't you trying to cover? You trying to cancel my sister? No, no, no. I just want to know. Trying to cover my sister? No, I just want to. I just. I'm just trying to make a point. Even with the people that you love, that are the closest. Oh, you, you love me. Wait, wait, you don't wait. agree with everything I said. Wait, wait, wait. Do you? You're right. Because one time, oh. wait. One time, I have a story. One time, I was talking to my sister for like 30 minutes about how it is wrong to eat chicken. They are murdered, and she was like, "What?" And she was asking me questions, and. I was like, yeah, they get tortured and murdered and beaten and there's blood everywhere and it's horrible. And 30 minutes. And then the nurse was like, okay, Lisa, what do you want for lunch? And then Lisa said, I want some chicken. (laughs) I said, Lisa, wait, are you serious? She goes, then you know what she said? She said, Jeanette, you eat what you eat and I eat what I eat. She used to always say that. You eat what you eat. And I eat what I eat. Okay. And I eat chicken. See? That's she goes, I love chicken. And I said, Lisa, I love chicken too. That's why I don't eat them. She goes, you eat what you eat. <laughs> bitch. I know she wanted to say bitch. Yeah, but my sister, my sister never said bitch. Like, she never cursed in her life. But I knew she wanted to say. She was like, bitch. <laughs> I eat what I eat. Leave me alone. Go on your side. I'll never go wrong. Yeah. She my, she my queen. She my sister. But that doesn't stop you from loving her. You don't have to agree with every single thing. Or everything or move the person I've said. Like we have to have some forgiveness for God's sake. We need to have some 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 like You're right. He, like it's just it's just I just hate the black and white. It's like as soon as you hear something that the person s- said that you don't like, it's just like he's canceled. It's like there's no value. It's, whoa, 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 thing. whoa. He didn't say anything. He cheated on his wife no, with over a hundred no, women. I'm just talking about and his wife came out and we, I'm about to dive deep. Oh, no. His wife came out and said he was a narcissist. Him. Okay, great. It's not about that. The whole thing was out of context, but we went to different Okay, subjects. wait. Can you end this podcast by clarifying? Because there's a few people on YouTube that have unsubscribed to me because they said I'm not vegan. Enough. Or just vegan. No, they said I'm not vegan. Remember I read the comment to you? She's like, I subscribed to you for years and now I what see you're not vegan. About? What was it? It was about the fact that I didn't want to talk about the eggs that this guy was eating. I wanted to talk about the fish. I wanted to talk to him about eating a dead animal's body part. Mm -hmm. Because eggs, sometimes people don't see that as an animal's body part. Mm -hmm. It's the menstruation of a chicken. So long story short is, can you just explain to the people, can you just, can you communicate the level of veganism that I am? Because some people are saying, yeah, I'm not vegan enough. Can you just, as somebody who knows me before I went vegan and now, uh, can you tell people that I'm vegan, please, so they can stop coming for me? They're probably not going to listen to this, but um, 
No, because it just annoys me. Am it I go- vegan? It make of course you're vegan. You're very vegan. You over vegan. Is there is there such a thing? Because I'm trying to understand why I can't say anything now in society. I can't say anything. What I said in the interview owl was the guy said he eats eggs and fish. I said, Okay. All right. I'm okay. You know what I said? I literally said, I'm okay, you wanna eat eggs. You wanna eat the chicken's per- menstruation of a chicken? All right, I wouldn't eat it. Because nobody is getting killed. Yeah. Technically. I'm not in support of it. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to eat it. Yeah. But but I said, but listen, but a, a fish is a dead animal's body part, and you were once raw vegan. So how, I asked him, how did you go from being raw vegan to eating fish? And he explained to me, Awa, that he was never vegan. He was raw for his health, not mm-hmm. for the animals. Mm-hmm. But then oh, people because, came for oh, me because, because I said, okay, uh, well, be, I'm fine with you eating chicken. Because you were, not, you were not an angry vegan for every correct, single thing. Correct. Now, I did not attack him. Yeah, but I have a problem with the vegan community with that. Yeah. yeah, because you have to attack on everything. Because they're looking for this crazy perfection. Meanwhile, they're eating shit at night. And maybe sometimes they have like some cooked food, but she not you, to not you. She talking but to the thing is, it's just, it just makes me so mad. Because we're looking, we're missing the big picture. We're looking, we're picking out on little stupid shit. Yeah, the vegan community, honestly. Oh, I have, I've been I grossed out so much by yeah. it because it's like. I don't know if I want to fuck with y'all anymore. Because really, like, I never got canceled before. Before this, I've never been called not vegan. And now that I've been called not vegan enough, I'm like, uh, I don't know if I like y'all. No, but they, oh, the, because the problem is that. Instead of focusing on like promoting love and peace and unity, it's just like another tool to bring like anger and separation. Well, guess what? I'm raw until that time. Well, guess what? <laughs> I'm uh, eat uh, cooked. Oh, you know what? I'm not good enough. You know what? Uh, I fucking juice. Then if you juice, you're not good enough. Oh. Well, you dehydrate, like, it's, come on now, vegans. Oh, my God. No, because I remember watching videos of people. She, I'm sorry, I'm still laughing at you t- try to say raw till four, but you said raw until that time. <laughs> That's what That's I said. That's how much you don't even <laughs> subscribe to raw. That's how much she will never go raw. She don't I even know, know the raw. term raw till four. No, she but said it's I'm raw until like, that time. It's just so sad because it's it like. It really is. It's like, okay, so even if one person was raw for 20 years or 30 years and he's like oh you know, and doesn't want to be vegan well guess what focus on the 30 for don't focus on that because the only constant in life is change baby yes focus on all the people that were inspired to go vegan because of you yeah he, for, he, he, for them it's like you know what and it's subscribed like i don't see you as a person i can't believe for all these years i thought you were vegan yeah but what is the definition of vegan no but because that means i have to be angry all the time, and I can't be in an interview in a conversation with somebody who does is not vegan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, but there's more because I remember when I first went vegan, I was like, I watched YouTube videos and I was like, listening to some people and oh, and the the worst the worst ones, and and then probably I'm gonna edit this because it's going all over the place, <laughs> but is the people they're making video about other vegans? Oh, you see how she eat. Oh, whoa, oh, she's whoa, not whoa. gonna make it. That's my friend. No, I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about oh, this is not. She's not the only one. This couple, they're like oh, these people, the way they eat. This is not how to be a real vegan. Or oh, this one is deficient. Mm. Or oh, this one uh, is doing is doing it wrong. Meanwhile, we're all on the fucking same side. I gotta say, I do not enjoy those videos. And as much I as I them. do love Freely, I don't watch her videos. I don't know if she still does those because I don't watch her videos. But I like, hate those videos. I do agree that, and I'll never do those kind of videos. I do agree that we don't need more hate in this world. This is just hateful group between all the of day. them. Did you see the interview? No, I know. I will watch it tomorrow. You know what? Even my sister watched it. I know, I know, I know. Uh, I'm not vegan enough because I didn't watch the documentary. <laughs> you know what? You're not vegan. Yeah, probably. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? Those, those are the worst ones. It's vegans against Critiquing. vegans. Yeah. Oh, this one really gets me because I'm just like, um, first of all, you're missing the big picture. Do you, boo? And then stop like pointing at the finger at each other. If I ever start making videos like that, will you please like... Will you, I'll shut you down. Will you please talk some sense into me? Cause I did. Th- these videos, I, the reason why Freely and these other people do these videos is because they get a lot of views. Mm-hmm. And okay, great. I could blow but up. But the thing is, the problem is separation. 
like I see like a, a like on a helicopter view or if you want to like a bird's eye view. Yeah, bird's eye view. It's just like okay, everybody they're doing the best. Some is going to be a pescatarian, some is going to do this and that and this. But like between the vegans, it's like they're so mean. Can I can I don't even want to share my life. Can we end the podcast? I have to poop. Oh. Well, that was pretty honest I, and violent. I, I'm a healthy vegan. I don't know what to say. Why are you not a real vegan? Because I poop? No, because you cannot poop after 12 because that means you have the digestive things and that and this. It's okay, go, go vegan. Don't go vegan. Yeah, it's been like, love you guys. Oh, no. Uh, what the fuck? I need to eat dinner.